Did you know more people go on Facebook and watch the Super Bowl than exercise the right to vote? Is it because we don't care? Or maybe it's because we don't know our history? If we don't know our history, we're doomed to repeat. So here's some history about voting. In 1776, we fought for... Instead of being ruled by a king, we were finally able to make our own laws. But back then, you had your own vote. Be white and the man and actually all the two votes. It was made true in 1789. This occurred for about 80 years until after the Civil War in 1865. In which slavery was abolished and then all men were free to vote. But just because we had the right to vote didn't mean we could use it. These new, new voters want to participate. Which threaten people in power and they try to stop them. But after fighting for about a hundred years before the voting rights were passed in 1960. Even so, you had to be 21 years old in most states. In 1971, there was a protest with the famous slogan, Old Enough to Die, Old Enough to Die. Together, there's so much we can decide, like whether or not we go to war, how we spend our money, and how we power our lives. We can determine who has the right to marry. Who has the right to abortion? What possession should be our law? Whether or not we should legalize drugs. It's up to you to make your own choices and shape our future. If we sit on the sidelines, then others will make it work for them. Instead of us, so let's make our voices heard. Shiver me timbers. timbers. We like to vote for our government members. Place your vote. Place your vote. 